Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, still cleaning up my mess from that last one. Jeez, it took a while. Got this guy in here though, he's doing a fine job, I do say so. <laughs> so as he's working away, you know, I would like to thank you for joining me and welcome you and everything. Hope you're having an awesome day today, and a good one at least, you know, at least. Good ones are an awesome place to start, but you know, you can get better. Now let's, let's see what we can do here, we'll get this useless machine all loaded up. I like that, but I tell you, it did. As soon as I dropped them off to the silos, it got slow. I sped everything up, as you can probably imagine, at least a few times. Kind of get her to that speed. But it does look a lot nicer. Wish the game ran at this speed, kind of. As far as the resource chunks. Not my guy flying around all crazy like, though. I could get a little crazy with battles and all that. <laughs> Be nuts. Might be fun, though. I might like it. So, yeah, lots to pick up. I didn't actually figure out how many resource chunks were in all that. I'm not too sure. But if we do the math, I don't know. It might be surprising. Because it would be... What would it be? So, we had 13 sections. Times 4 silos each. So, that would be... 40, that'd be 52, okay, now here's the tricky one, so 52, oh, actually it'd be 90 chunks in each silo, by 52, oh yeah, that's going to be a big number, I bet, so then we'd have a 0, 18, and then we have a 0, and then another 0, and then they up. No, yeah, doing something wrong there. Crap, used the wrong number. Okay, and now we want to do a zero, a zero, and then 45, because five times nine. And like so. So, yeah, there would be roughly 4,680 chunks there. Yeah, I had to reteach myself a little bit of math on that one. Man, I screwed up big. Woo! It was horrible. And here I'm helping my daughter do her homework. I hope the heck I ain't screwing her over. <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. We'll see. The marks have been coming home decent, so I am not too worried about that way. It's just early. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, things are working out pretty nice with this. We get back into talking about this, eh? Now, it's, it's got its issues. There's a few things here and there that have, you know, been troubling. I got my new uh, scrapping set up in there. As you can see, it's got lots of spots for components to go where it just takes them and goes, Shoo -shoo, sell, got to go. And then it just goes up and drops off the stuff right about there where the gray chunk is underneath. Yeah, I'm really liking these new dropper blocks. I've been putting them to use in here. But yeah, as you can see, I got a little back up there without having the three lines coming out of there. It's not keeping up as good. And since, here's my thing, I said this in the last episode, there's an issue with the filters. Now, if you look, get back there. Hold on a second. I'm not cooperating with myself right now. Yeah, now, but what the deal is with them, if you watch, <laughs> at that corner where the... Uh, the mass resource highway is with the silos. There's a, a filter right there for a gray, for the plumbite, plumbite, yeah. And it will pass right by because the filters that are leading to the next silo, this is what I think anyway, are set to everything infinite. So it's being bypassed. The gray's just going straight, and it's being forced all the way through that whole chain all the way up to the conveyor line where it does like the final stage of the sorting. So if that didn't happen, the priorities were different. So it seems like the everything setting gets the priority over even that specific resource setting, which ain't good. Not good at all. Because there's gray going by that first silo there. Like the first set filter is a gray. Like you can see it's right there. It's right. It's, oh yeah, it's right there. Big line of it. Got it all full almost. But as I noticed this before, 
when I first started talking about this. This is actually quite a ways ahead now. <laughs> this could be a half an hour later. By the time this got to this point of it being sped up. But yeah, the red one, I don't know if you can, if there's any other that are passing right by him on this end. I can't see. Yeah, they're all down farther, those colors. But yeah, the gray was doing it there. It's kind of concerning. So. I'm hoping that gets corrected. So I got three levels of sorting on this as it goes through that uh, resource highway, I guess, <laughs> with the silos at the back. And it's only really taking, making use of the last, the very end, where it leads to the final conveyor lines. And that ain't efficient. I'm missing out on it. Because this thing could be like completely bare at the back there, like no stacks of resources building up at all anywhere except where they're supposed to be stored. And that's what I think would be a good a good thing to have when you build it in such a way to do so. Yeah, we get useless small out though. Tired out in that big guy in there. As you can see, they're kind of lining up nice. I'm hoping that works out. Ooh, that was nice. I was surprised how easy I made it in there. Yeah, but see, now you got to be careful, because this is what I was saying in the last video, too, that resources will go through a tech completely, as long as it is the tech they're held on. So, like that. The useless machine, they pass right through. But useless Mo, he's tripping on them. There, we finally get up to the top here. Let's see what's going on out this way. I haven't been over here for a while. Just checking on things. <laughs> Good enough. So yeah, it's gonna make that a little tricky to get through, maybe. But see, right there, he stubbed his toe on some wood. Oh, on the fuel. Careful, that last one's metal. <laughs> or a metal-y kind of resource. So yeah, he's got his little spot. But like I was saying, this ain't finished. Anywhere there's pink, there's work to be done. That bottom one, I don't know. I think that was from a job previous. <laughs> I think that I just forgot to take that out. But yeah, there's a lot of little cleanup details and stuff like that that I still got to do. But all in all, it's getting better. I'll, I'll say that. So yeah, I had a lot of waiting to do. So I figured, you know what, I'll go play around. Let's go for a wander of sorts. Check things out. See how things are working. Because this was an issue before. It was part of the reason why I started putting in... Uh, Scrapping system there. Yeah, got her all worked out, I hope, where it can refine anything that isn't refined and it can pass by anything that is refined and it should just work. And then now I got receivers there so it can pick stuff up. <laughs> Get this little guy out. He's kind of fun to rip around on, actually. And he's got some firepower, too, so you know, you can't really go wrong with him. I built this guy for uh, the 3D print challenge because I wanted to think it was like a cool, fun look or awesome tech or something like that. And I don't know. I think he's pretty awesome. And this fits within the 5 by 5 by 5 building limit too. So I got one for 10 by 10 by 10 This one for 5 by 5 by 5 There, it's all right. Now I got one more I can put in, I think. That a limit of three. So I had Got them doing the jump again at the back. This time, yeah, I got quite a lineup of them back there. <coughs> Just hoping it'll get all sorted out not too long. Because now even like the gray and the red, they have multiple ones that they can fill. With the gray, there's two, one on either end. Then there's red, there's three equally separated throughout. But yeah, my main concern is that back gate, as I've been calling it, where all the resources are being stopped. I got a feeling I'm going to have an, uh, a problem there. Or I had a feeling, and now I know I got a problem because I've already experienced it. It pretty much turned most of this day into a, into a learning experience instead of a success. 
So it's kind of an all right thing, I guess. You know, keeps me building, keeps me working on things. But I tell you, <laughs> I'm glad I got the save with all the resources set, though. That was awesome. That's going to be handy for maybe in many things as long as the save is usable in further updates down the road. Depending on how the saves get changed, who knows, right? So, that's why I've been waiting for the next uh, stable update to really do a playthrough again. Because of stability issues with the saves, I guess they may change. So, it's got me wondering. Because the one save I want to do, it's going to be, it's going to take a long time. <laughs> a lot of the techs that I've already made are going to be all fixed, upgraded, made work, and then put in there. Eh, we got the equalizer going. I just gotta imagine some really cool music right now. I don't have none to add to this. It's kind of hard to find really cool music that's free to use. And I don't know how to make music. I've tried. I got a very limited start. So I think the ending thing where it's got like the have a good one. I think I made that little doo 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 kind of thing, but that was about it. So yeah, we're getting her dwindled, dwindled down now. Get her kind of all sorted out, figured out. And then we can get on to trying it. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm hoping. I always got the hopes, you know. Work, baby, work. Get on to the mellow yellow. See the way it's all colored, the stripes? That's what I'm hoping for, but it'll be moving. Like, I get every one of those filled, so I might even need more resources, because some of those aren't full. And I'm right out of those resources. So, yeah, I might have to add another silo or two to each line. <laughs> That'll be some more scrapping. That's alright, though. It won't take that long. I might have to rebuild a little bit back, so I think I have to save. Well, actually, you know, I got different stages of it. How I tore it apart. But yeah, as you can see, they're not all running. They're getting blocked. Every other one, it seems. So yeah, the timing's off on it. This is the nether part where I notice that the timing is off on the filters. Because if you watch the gray down there, as I get in here. See, it's passing one. Every third one's going through. I'm getting gaps in there. That ain't cool. See there too. I'm getting gaps there. But I think it's the gray one passing by everything that's messing most of them up. So I'm not too sure on that. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I don't particularly like it. Because I'm supposed to have all my colors coming right on through. And they're all sitting there. They're just waiting. So, you know, this, this causes uh, another rebuild. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something with this back end or... I don't know. Or it's not going to be able to have that stop to it. And that was going to be awesome to have it all start at the same time and work its way through and only be one thing to do, not everything. You know, I don't want to have to go down and turn on 13 things that's not going to necessarily be cool I was hoping to just have it as one little click and everything starts working but I don't know, we'll try things out we'll see how it goes, I got a few ideas that might work but it's going to make it a little bigger on the back so I'll have to do a bit of rework there and maybe it won't interfere with what I've got like done in the back already too much so I'm hoping. And I still got to fix the ramps. Yeah, they didn't work out as nice as I thought. But with the dropper block and that, I think I got a way where I can tune it up a bit. It'll at least help. But it does work eventually. But for this to be real nice, it has to be constant. I don't want no, no resource chunks sitting anywhere. I want it just to keep on trucking. But yeah, there's a couple little touch-ups, a couple more angle blocks on the top there just to promote all the resources to go down the ramp first off. 
And some of them I actually could sit on top the way the dropper block, block uh, drops them. So, kind of works, kind of no. It's getting stalled out somewhere, so I got to look into that too on the red lines. See why it's getting blocked. It's probably just because it's full too so, or too much somewhere, but you know, things to work on. But I think right around in here, while this is running through the paces, I think I'm going to call this one at pretty much a close. It's getting a little long. And with the, the new things I've learned, i got some work to do. So as always, you know, I'd like to thank you again for joining me. And, you know, I really hope you enjoyed what you saw. Maybe it helped you out. Maybe it gave you an idea, you know. And if it did, you know, let me know. There's comments down there. You can throw a blue thumb right at me. It'd be awesome. I'll dodge you. I'm quick like that. Or, you know, you can subscribe and ding the bell. Hey, hey, another good way to support my little channel is the Solar Showcase, where you could have your cool original text, their own video. Just take your in-game snapshots or save game, find my auditions link down in the description of the video, follow around through, and I'll make the best dang video out of it I can. Well, I got kind of stumbled, stumbled my words there. <laughs> and, you know, another good way is the... PayPal.me link. If you want to fuel up the little channel, there's a $2 donation thing I set up there. It'd be muchly appreciated, and it would also get your name entered into a draw for a 3D printed tech that's currently valued at about 40 bucks. So if you're interested, it's all down in the description. So until next time, everybody, keep being the awesome, and keep having a good one. Bye.